All right, so we're almost done with our black type, which is our goal for this Monday work at home day. Coming up with black vector type, save it as an SVG. And I'm just not fully finished and satisfied. For one, this is a separate vector than the in, but I'm liking it. But as a separate vector that allows me to copy and paste it, command C, command V, then I can play with some other arrangements of it. So it looks like clockwork. And to figure out what would be a fun way to, to mess with it. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Um, it's too much. Shrink it down. Again, I don't merge them until I'm absolutely satisfied with their placement. And then I can see it with my image. And then make little adjustments. So if I feel like I have more space than I want in certain places, maybe I play with it. Yes, it helps ground this by making this a little bit stronger. And very often in type design, I mean, there's well, you can take full classes in it and really get to the nuance. But you see how that negative shape, that triangle is very similar to that negative shape. That helps the eye kind of clue into it being the same. I can also do the same with the angles here or at least suggest them. So again we try to avoid horizontals and verticals or you stay very concretely on the horizontal and vertical. But be intentional about your parallels, about your spacing, about what's symmetrical, what's not. Okay. Yeah, I think that will work. And the, the one thing I want to change, I'm so close, but mindful of the edges, right? I want to push beyond that edge so there's not a horizontal there. I want to be mindful of the, the angle of it. But I can even push outside of the artboard, and that's fine. So avoid those horizontals, avoid those verticals, if you want dynamic type design. I think I've avoided it in most places. And I have full control of all of these. Okay. So hopefully you can have fun with these tools. Again, letter form design is the, the easiest way to really get a sense of the versatility of vector imaging. That's what I'm trying to give you a sense of here. Now, what do I do to save it? Well, just like I saved this on its own, I want to save the bottom word on its own. That allows me to position them individually. But before I do that, I want to merge everything together. So hold down shift and then unite them. This one, I can use my arrow key. Get it where I want it, arrange it where I want it. Yeah, I think I want it like that. Make sure it's not overlapping in any way I don't like. Hold down Shift, select them both, and then unite them. 
right? Now that I have my type, I turn off my image. I can save it as one export as an SVG download, but then it goes to your downloads anywhere on your computer. I'm going to move that into my folder or to my desktop, wherever I can find it easily. Move it to my desktop. There it is. Then I'm going to exit out. Remember, it's an SVG. I'm going to turn off these paths with the eyeball, the shape paths and the letter paths that I then outlined, right? Just turn them off for the time being. So I just have this, then I download just that. And they'll always save as page one. So then I want to go to the desktop and before I bring it from downloads, I want to rename this. Come on, hit return on a Mac to Nick Knock, right? Rename this one onto the desktop as Nick. <laughs> These are all of your type features. And then, wait, which one did I save? Sorry, that's Knock, Knock Nick. <laughs> so it's important to be organized. Check yourself. All right. And then, even though I already saved this, I made some changes to it. I like it more now. So I'm going to draw a box around that so I can see. Oh, I'm in the wrong. I opened it in Illustrator accidentally. Got to be in vector.com. Right. Now I'm going to turn all these off and turn the others on. And now I'm going to export that download. It's called page one. This is going to be the Nick all on its own. Very good. Now I can put those all in my assignment. And then when we are back in class, we can clean them up, modify them. We can even live image trace them with Illustrator if we need to. But these will all work. So I'm going to replace my old Nick with this and these new ones. These are transitional. I'm going to mark them all as purple. They're vector formats. And so just to show you, when we come back to class in Photoshop, we open up your text blocker. This so is what we'll be doing in class on Wednesday. And you can then drag and drop your SVG in. And it will come in as a smart object that then you can place. Ooh, something good to note. Because I haven't tried it with this new version of, of the freeware. I noticed something that anything in the freeware that was outside it's a smart object it's a vector but it's outside of the the artboard in vector.com got cut off as the svg so i can fix that and i need to fix that i'm going to close this and not save so how can i do that before i close vector.com i want to select all of this and move it down a little bit I want to select all of the others. So I'm going to lock these, turn them off. Oops, forgot about that C there I don't need. And I'm going to download this so that it doesn't get cropped at all. Saving is incredibly important, as we know from our digital work. That's why I always go usually to the desktop first especially if I'm doing something new, so I can see that it's saved. And now that's not going to be cropped off because I fit it all onto the artboard. Exit out, select all of that, turn it off. Even though the vector is still there, I'm just turning off the eyeballs. Turn on 
the others, those, select them. Huh, why won't it let me select? Let me get out of this. Oh, because I locked them. Haha. -ha. To unlock them. Select them, move them out of the artboard so I don't lose the tail on the end. Doesn't really matter where in the artboard. And then download. Boom, there it is. And now that's my knock. And I'm going to replace the ones in my folder because those got cropped because they were slightly off the artboard. Okay, but I can still keep this one because this one had the spacing. So I go to Photo P and I can do this with Photoshop as well. And I drag and drop that SVG in and there it is uncropped, but then I can position it where I think it would work. Let's say like that. And that's just kind of a suggested placement. Then my real placement, so let me take that opacity down, lock it. Now my real placement is going to be of each one individually. So the nick I'm going to place Come on. Where I think it looks best within that text box. I like that. And then the knock. Now you see it's not cropped or cut off. I'm going to place where I think looks best. Breaking the border. Very good. And now I have three smart objects. One that's was was both of them together. I just turned it off. There you go. Let's see without the text blocking now. There it is. Let's see without the guides. What is this? <laughs> and so that's some black type. And I want to ask, is it readable? Is it dynamic? Is it interesting? And of course, I have full ability to change the, uh, the spot illustration and its placement and the coloring and everything else. But this is the step I wanted to get to by today which was designing black type, right? So now, how do I post it, my black type solution to Canvas? Well, because it's a vector, you can't put a vector file in. So I'm going to mark these green in PhotoP. You do it by right-clicking, going to color. And I think I like this one so far. As kind of a placement. The only thing I'm not sure of is is how close that point is, but that's that's something I can modify. Because even though they're smart objects, they can still be warped a little bit, tweaked a little bit before I color them, and they'll still refer back to the vector. But I like the energy of that. So what I do now, I'm going to mark the ones I want to keep. And I am going to turn off everything except the black type. And then I say File, Export as a JPEG. And I have to give it a name that has my name and Assignment 6. But this is no longer a type blocking sketch. This is my black type design or black type in design, they call it a solution. So I'm going to say black type 